to SQL Server 2008 tutorial sequence in this sequence we in this tutorial we would be looking at how to have the alias names for the tables table column names generally whenever we are creating a table in SQL what happens we give some column names but when we are designing a report or when we are extracting it that time we want to have the alias names uh, or maybe when we are writing a query we would like to have the alias names to make our life more simpler in terms of the queries so for that purpose we will see how to have the alias names so for that let us assume this is a database bookstore so I'm picking up one dimension from the database let us see here I mean this is a normal three columns BID B name B page let us assume that we want to have BID as we want to have BID as book ID and we want to show in the results B name as book name and we would like to have B page as published book size so how to do this that we are going to look at in this sequence now for that purpose let us see how to write the normal query now we say select now in usual terms the star should not be used though I'm using here star for the understanding purpose but ideally in standard terminology in the standard scripting and querying you should not use star so we will write select emp as sorry select bid as book id comma b name as book name B page as book size from book dim. So here what we have done is we are selecting we are asking SQL to show BID when it extracts we should see the changes we do not want these columns to be here so we want to have the columns BID should be visible as book ID B name should be as book name and B page as book size so for that we are looking at so this is a standard part where we are asking select BID as book ID so we are here what we are doing is we are using as here to show that BID is not going to be as BID while extraction it should be shown as book ID so let's see what happens when we are executing this query first compile oh it's perfectly okay right now can you see here that BID is now visible as book ID and here B B name is visible as book name and B page is visible as book size so you can see here that if in case you like to use the alias names that time what you should do is you should use as and after that whatever the name you're going to give that would be taken as the alias names I hope you are able to understand this and in the upcoming version we would be see how to uh, make further changes to a table thank you so much for watching this video